Welcome back everybody. We're gonna get started over here on the Bronco here in just a minute But before I get going if you like what you see in this video, please give it a thumbs up leave comments down below Hit that subscribe button and that little uh, notification bell that way you won't miss any videos when I post them up And real quick Today's just a crappy day here in central Iowa We were like 82 83 degrees few days ago right now it's 37 degrees wind chill of 26 and it's windy too but at least we're not up in northern Iowa and northeastern Iowa last I heard they could get up to eight inches of snow and blizzard conditions today so I won't complain too much did get the yard mode anyway get back here in the shop heaters are kicking on and off more than usual today or more than they have been lately We'll get busy on this in just a minute. Let me get things set up. So what we're doing, I'm gonna get this door off of the Bronco. I have my jack down here with a board on top of it to kind of protect the bottom of that door. So just need to get in here. There's two 13 millimeter bolts on each hinge that hold the door on. Just gotta get those out. There's just a tiny bit of pressure on the bottom of the door so the door won't drop. And then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna move it over onto these sawhorses here and we're going to start getting this door ready to paint the inside so we'll just come in here and get these bolts out and get the door off Alrighty, so we got the door off and I want to remove that. I don't think I've ever removed one of those before and looks like you take these three screws out. The problem is, I was just looking at this real, real quick and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. Down in there. Looks like it's going to be a pain. The window, window uh, track is in the way. And I just don't know. Just not sure how that how you get that out of there. I could take those screws out, see if it'll drop down in there, and then I can just lift it back up into place. Well, I'm not real sure about this, but take these screws out. Oh, you're being a booger. another one up first I guess. We'll get these screws out and we'll see what happens. Well we'll try it this way instead. A little easier. Well we'll find out what happens here in just a second. Well, I could look it up. Yeah. Drop down enough. That'll, that'll be enough. I can get some tape in there and tape that off. Well, now all I'm hearing is birds. I think I have some baby coons up in the roof. I don't know if you could hear that or not. I saw a pretty big coon out on the other side of the shop. It's been probably a month ago. I think he was going out eating the cat food. That's why I had to build a cage, put the cat food in, and he scurried back into the barn. And now I keep hearing this chattering up above and the little booger scratching around every once in a while. They also put a hole in my roof and whatever it is was looking at me through that hole about, I don't know, four or five nights ago. Need to get that filled up. Now I got this weather seal to get it off. I'd like to get it off without, without damaging it. I'm not sure I can do that. Let's get it off of that little guy. 
maybe, maybe it'll just peel off. Or tear one of the two. I don't know where my putty knife went. I'm going to try using this chill. I don't know how this is going to work. Yeah, I think I can get it if I take my time and go slow. So I'm going to keep working on this. And I'll bring you back in just a minute. Well, I'm getting it. It's going to take a few minutes. And what I'm starting to discover if you grab onto it and just kind of twist it a little bit and pull. I think I just I just tear it. Yeah, I tore it, but it, I tore it, but it's not so much it's going to damage it. I might do is get a razor blade so I can slice that as I go. And by the time I get to the very end, I'll probably have it figured out. I think I'm going to end up destroying the thing. These are pretty cheap. Maybe I should just get new ones. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Well, we got the, uh, got the weather seal off. I don't think we'll be reusing that. And now we're left with a bunch of adhesive that's left on here, which that is very simple to get off, and I'll show you that here in just a second. And going to be doing that with this 3M eraser wheel, which is a little dusty and dirty from sitting on top of the cabinet. But anyway, I'll link this down below as well if you're interested in getting one. This works really good. This one seems to be a bit out of round. Hoping I can use it. Yeah. I'm going to have to see if I can get that back into shape. I don't know why it got out of round. But anyway, it'll burn that. Let me see what I can do here. Well, I got this a little better, I think. I think if I worked on it longer, I could get it pretty round. Still got one high spot in it. I just couldn't seem to get that out. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Yeah, it works. A little obnoxious, but... It'll take that right off of there and really not damage the paint. So I'm going to work on getting that a little more round, take the rest of that adhesive off, and then we'll continue from there. So I got that off. I couldn't get the wheel to work up there for whatever reason. It would just bounce around. It's still out of round. Pretty old, and I'm just not sure what's wrong with it. So apparently I'm going to have to get a new one of those myself. So I'll link that down below in the description. They really do work very well as long as they're not old and out around. Because I'm going to want to use it on, on the doors too after I pull this side molding off. There's two strips of that adhesive back behind there. So I'm going to want to use it on that. Makes it super simple when it works like it's supposed to. Anywho, on with the door. I have an area down here at the bottom of the door that I need to work on a little bit. It's got some surface rust in there. I think I'm going to get the wire wheel, see if I can get rid of all that. And I guess I didn't mention I finished up getting that the molding off of here. There was like a real thin line of it all along here that I couldn't reach with that, that wheel. So I took a sanding disc and I just ground it out of there gonna be putting primer on the inside of this door anyway so it doesn't really matter if I go down to bare metal or not and I believe when you're painting over factory OEM paint if you don't when you're sanding it if you don't get down to bare metal I think you can paint right over the top of it but I, I like to primer things little kitty you're destroying my door stop that just what I need come down here and my door will be all ripped up we had two more additions day before yesterday. Kind of cute little guys though. Pretty sure George is the father of those. I haven't seen him now for probably two weeks. I used to start giving up hope when he was gone this long, but I think he'll show up. Okay, enough about cats. I need to start working on that.
That's better. Well, there's still some rust up in there that I just couldn't get to. So, I don't know, let me see if I can sand that down somehow. If not, spray some Ospo up in there and hope for the best. I don't think that would really probably hurt anything for quite some time anyway. So next, I'm gonna take 320 sandpaper and I'm gonna determine what, how far I want to uh, paint, where I want to paint around the inside of this. And I think I'm gonna start right at the bottom of these screws. It's got kind of a body line right, right there. So I think I'll paint up to that over here, right up this side. And up in here, probably just going to go right above where this tape is, because this is all covered with uh, the body panel anyway. And if you couldn't see that, this is the tape I was talking about. Probably just go right along, use this as, as an edge for the paint, paint this part, and then I'm going to paint, paint all of this. So I've started cleaning this up a little bit. Here's a couple more places I need to probably take the wire wheel to. That's just mostly dirt, I guess. I thought that was rust. Okay. But I need to go over this and clean it all up and then start sanding it with 320 like I was talking about. And I want to get a video up for you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. And I just got done talking to James over at Central Oregon Shenanigans. He's going to have another transmission video tomorrow rebuilding that E4OD. I know they picked up a core transmission. I think that was in his last video. So after this video, go check out James at Central Oregon Shenanigans with that transmission. I think it's rather interesting. And if you like what you see over there, they got a variety of stuff going on. If you like what you see over there, hit that subscribe button. So we're making progress. You get to do it all over again on that door. But need to work on uh, getting this cleaned up some and start sanding. Also need to get this harness tucked inside there somehow. I suppose I could just tape around it. It's not like a highly visible area. Another little spot right there that I may need to do a little bit of work on. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get these primered at least this week or not. I hope I can. It's supposed to be rather cool the next few days and also rainy. But we're going to be putting some color on these doors at least here real soon. And somebody contacted me asking if I got a package that they sent. I must have something at my P.O. box and didn't get an alert on it. And if you have anything you want to send into the Fox Shop license plate for the license plate wall, whatever address where you can do so is down in the description. So my wife is almost home and she's bringing home supper, so I'm going to take a little break on this. I want to get this video loaded up into the editor and then I'm probably going to come back down and start working some more on this. I don't know if I'm going to get it finished up tonight or not. Probably start another video with that and then we'll go from there. So give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.